Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Erlingrat. You're doing a great job, I'm quite pleased with that one. And then we can skip through this lot and we can come down over here. We've got the last little bit of this and that's going to be another lot of um, sugar beet that we can sell. And we will get everything into the trailer because it's only a little narrow strip just for this last bit. There's 3,000 litres on board the machine. So we will easily get all of it into the trailer. I am pleasantly surprised that we have got two full trailer loads out of this. And it did actually prove my little theory. I was waiting. I wasn't going to go and like finish the harvest too soon. But if I had... I didn't want to go and tip that last bit too soon. But if I had... Let's maybe not do that. The problem with these axle turn trailers is that they swing the back end of the trailer round when you pull away from something. And that's why it catches on the um, overloader there on the sugar beet harvester sometimes. Um, yeah, if I had taken this and I'd gone straight over to the mill and I'd tipped it, we probably would have tipped the second to last load out and that would have been classed as part of the job. So we ended up with a free extra trailer load of sugar beet when we did that. So it is definitely worth the whole storing it and just holding it back until the last minute and then selling it right at the very end rather than doing it the other way around. It's definitely worth doing that. We don't really... So we've, we've proved that now. We've already answered that question. We don't need to do a full job on it. So long as you've got a decent bit of it left over at the end, like we had there, you sort of get maximum benefit from this so all of this is pure profit going in towards the job that we've already got which is absolutely fantastic look at that money coming in we are getting it closer and closer to being able to buy that bureau tractor and a plow to go with it so there's another 4464 in harvest income right there the sugar beet job is now done so i can go into here harvesting complete there's another 15 grand well it's actually 14 grand coming in there so i can collect that as well and look at that money. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. That is an absolute thing of beauty. So we've got a couple more harvest jobs. We've got barley here to go to the supermarket. Now, barley prices, Felsburn Grain Mill, once again, is the highest price for barley. That's still rising at the moment. Potatoes, Felsburn Grain Mill is the best price that we're going to get. And those are the contracts that we've got. We've got barley there. Field 10 is more wheat. That's going to the supermarket. So that one, same principle again. The wheat will need to be going. Uh, this is barley to the grain mill. That one is barley to the supermarket. I only want to have one barley job going. Uh, down here, I've got soybeans. That one we can just run. That is supermarket. So what's the soybean situation? Whoa. We definitely want the soy. We definitely want those beans going to Fels. Felsbrunn is really. Look at that. The, the prices at Fels. The, the uh, oilseed rate there, the, the canola. That one is lower. Than, that's the lowest price, actually, for Felsbrunn. But, um, I mean, other than that. That's the that's the only jobs that we got at the moment. The rest are cultivating, baling, and the planting job that we've got right here. Okay, this is actually very, very cool. This is. Genuinely, genuinely very, very cool. So I'm going to borrow items there for the Field 8 barley contract right there. So we need to take the barley to the supermarket. Let's go out and have a look. So we've got to get all the way over to that side, which is a little bit of a trek. But, I mean, I think we'll probably cope. So if I just have that tractor a second and I move the header trailer out of it, I'll stick it there in front of where the tractor is. Oops, let's try going forwards, shall we, with this one. And, yeah, if I, well, sort of where the tractor is, we, we can back it up a little bit there. We'll put it there like that. And then if I get that trailer hooked on, 
I think what I'm going to do this time is I'm actually going to drive the trailer all the way over to Field 8 first, purely because Field 8 is a little bit of a drive. So we will head out here, race over to Field 8 with the tractor, and then we can come back and we can get the combine and we can take that one up there as well. I'm hoping we will get all of it into one load. However... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure that's going to happen. We'll see. That's kind of a wait and see sort of job, I think. And once we do get that one there, then we got... So there's a wheat job that we want to get started, and there is a soybeans job as well. And all of the excess will be piled up, ready to go to Felsbrun Grain Mill, so long as we can... Uh, like, well, as long as we've got, like, the, all of the rest of the jobs, the surplus, we will try and keep back and send it all over there. And we should, if everything goes well, make an absolute fortune because we do have this pressing issue. Several people have said that there is a very strong chance, the, the high likelihood, that we are not going to be able to sell our silage over at the um, sale point over here, which is, well, it's... Uh, no, it's not over there. It is directly behind this building right here. But we're not going to be able to sell it over there, which is a little bit of a jolly nuisance. We don't want to... We, we, we didn't really want to be in that situation. Um, I have a problem. Actually, we don't have a problem at all. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll go and put this one right here. And then while that one unloads, uh, you are doing that bit and we'll ignore the whole cotton picking issue that we've got up the top. We will start you up and we will move you on round a little bit past the bridge there so that you can there, allow the traffic through. That's all we want to do. Is that letting the traffic through? I think that's actually on far enough there. And then I can go back to this one who's now got full 40,000 litres in the trailer. And we're not taking this to the supermarket now. We're going to take this one over and we're going to tip it in the grain store over here. Um, I'm just wondering if I should drive it up to the railroad silo east. No, because I still want to take stuff to the supermarket for that one. Um... So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go and tip it in there. We've already got eighteen thousand liters of wheat stored in there. If we just drop the potatoes in there temporarily, the Felsbring grain mill is the one where all of the action is happening as far as prices are concerned. So I'm gonna go up this way and go in round, and then if the supermarket price, because that was the other thing that I wanted to have a quick look at, was this bit in here for our harvesting job right there. 76% complete at the moment, so we've actually done quite a bit. By the time we finish doing the rest of the harvesting, there will be some more potatoes that we need to sell, but there's not actually going to be that much that we're going to want, so we may not even need to take two full trailers over. And we do want to maximize the amount that we can go and sell. So we'll come whizzing out here and ignore that stop sign. Whizzing on past our silage bunker right there. And we will come in around on this one. It would be so much... I know I've said this before, and I will no doubt say it again several times. It would be so much more convenient if there was a road across the middle of that field right there. It would definitely make life a lot easier for us. But never mind, that is not what we've got, so we will just have to put up with it like this. I think these actually tip the wrong way. I'd rather they tipped off to this side. They actually tip this side. Um, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with that. So I want to uh, tip that one, and then I want to tip that one as well. Except I can't tip the front one because that one's too far over. If I change the tip side, I could. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to back over like this, and I'm going to move the trailer over a bit so that I can tip both of them. I want to tip both of them. There's no reason why I shouldn't be allowed to. There. Right, now we can have both of them tipping at the same time. It's faster than going to the supermarket. 
And then we get that bit out of there. And then I'll run this back to the field. Then I can go back to that tractor, move it into the field. Then we can get the combine, move that one to the field as well. And then when I've done that, we have another combine to get hooked up and moving. I'm going to go this way round this time. I'm going to go down to the... Um, down to the roundabout down the bottom here. I don't think there's a lot in it as far as distance is concerned. They are both about the same. There really doesn't seem to be very much in the distances travelled. Where's the soybeans that we're doing? There is one for soybeans somewhere. I'm not quite sure where that one is. It's going to be around here somewhere. Is it this? It, it might be... I don't know if it's field 20 here on the side right here. It could be... Or that, well, there is this field right here. There's field 14 right here that's going to need to be harvested. That one will, no, that's, um, I think that's wheat in there. I need to sort of look in a little bit closer to properly see what it is. But I'm pretty sure that is wheat in that field right there. Uh, let's have a look. Let's go a bit closer. Right, that is beans in there. And this one is barley. Right. We've got barley and we've got wheat in those fields. We go on up here. We will park up in the field. We've got 50,000 litres of potatoes left on board. I don't know how many more times we're going to fill our two trailers here. Remember, it's four full loads from that harvester. But the harvester doesn't take that much of a swipe each time it goes up across the field so it could still be a fair while now i want to go to the tractor right here that is parked up on the road currently and we will just move this one across the railway over the bridge and into field eight and then i can get the combine that is lined up and ready to roll can i get in here no, i got to go down. Yeah, the gateway's down there. Uh, I'm just wondering if it'd be quicker to go the other way to bring the combine out. No, I don't think it would be. I don't think it's going to be any faster. So we'll bring this one in here, and we'll just kind of, like, park on the side there like that. Then we can go and get the combine. We could possibly attempt to get down the road with the header on the combine, but I think that we'd end up causing problems. So we won't do that. We've got a header trailer here. We will make use of it. So bring you in over like that. And then carefully line this one up. So it's better, I think, to have it sticking out the back slightly. Um, it's less likely to be tail swiped by the combine as you're driving along. So we will lower that down onto there like that. That's locked into place on there. And then hopefully we've got enough space... Yeah, that's that's ideal. There's, there's no tail swipe going on there. I mean, yes, the top of the header should have been folded down because um, it's hitting the spout right there, which is a little bit of an issue. We don't really want that to be happening, do we? But, I mean, it's it's done now, so we'll, we'll just kind of put up with it and pretend that that's not happening. But... Um, it's worth remembering for next time. I always love this view. Like, it, 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 there's always something quite amazing. It's, it's quite cool seeing the combine going along with its own header trailer on. I will never get tired of that sight. I always think that looks really cool. Helper D has got a nearly full grain tank. That would be the Tatey Pose up there. We'll deal with that in a minute. So let's come on around here like this. And then we can turn right at the roundabout there and try and knock our header off of the trailer again. And then when we've done that, we can get into... We can knock over a sign right there, just, just for added measure. There, just, just to make us feel good about what we're doing here. I missed that one. And there's the tractor, all parked up, ready to go. The potatoes are actually going to be the, the unloading spout is actually going to be facing out into the field this time which is pretty good means that we don't have to be driving on the potatoes to unload it which is always a bonus I feel there's always a bit of a benefit for us so, um, it, it just helps out you know it's, it's, it's one of those minor little details it does help out it means that we don't have to also uh, do well. We don't do any backing out around. We we, we we don't trouble ourselves with such minor things. 
Can I get round there? Yes. I was worried about jackknifing the trailer against the combine there, but that didn't seem to be any kind of problem for it. So we can keep on going, keep on trucking. I'll take the wheat, because uh, I'm pretty sure field 10 is one of the jobs for harvesting. So we can get that one rolling as well. I want to get as many combine jobs going as we can now. Just try and, like, take a whole load of them. Uh, I've got to... Okay. There we go. <laughs> it did not like that trailer there, did it? Uh, what's the best way to do this? I think actually the best way is going to be to drop it right there like that. I'll unfold the combine now and then actually we're going to need to back right out onto the road. I've done this before. I mean, not while I was driving the combine. I was actually the one pulling the header trailer. Um, but we have hitched on the header trailer out on the road. Stopped traffic. Yeah, they didn't do that. And then we got the header loaded on, uh, hooked onto the combine and then went off into the field sort of afterwards. Uh, we didn't do that. I will just add in. We, we definitely didn't do that bit. Now, I've got a disable straw swath. Yes, we do want to disable that. We want the straw cutter going on with this one. And wondering we will use the extended AI for this one the AI vehicle extension like that wait drink unload off okay go like that and then just press H and there is our barley underway right so you go and do that I can then jump over to this one and I can go and get those potatoes down there while they're unloading yeah we're not gonna get another two full trailer loads out of this judging by how much he's done just there filling up the first quarter load I don't oh I said he was gonna turn round and then he was gonna be facing the right way I got that completely wrong didn't I he's turned round so now he's on the wrong side of the the potato field which is a bit unfortunate um but anyway that doesn't really matter field 10 harvesting right there is wheat field 14 is barley we're doing a barley job at the moment so we don't want to take that one field 20 is the soybean so I'm gonna start with field 10 because that's the one that's furthest away and so it'll take a little bit of time to get everything down there. So we'll go with that one. And then that's another one to everything at the moment is to the supermarket. Like everything seems to be going to the supermarket. So we can, I mean, Field 10 is probably going to be a little bit faster to get to down here. Because it's sort of straight down this long road here and then, and then stop. We don't have to go any further than that. Right, you are still doing well, and you've got 625 litres of soybeans on board, so you should, in theory, be able to get that field all planted up without us having to worry about it at all. So we are pretty much the same kind of conditions as before, so I'm just going to, I'm not even going to bother, I don't need to move that one round, I can get the header onto the combine, and then I can um, sort of put it into position on the... Uh, trailer right there in a minute so I'm gonna take this trailer first and I'm gonna drive this one down to field 10 I'm not gonna hit that car although I really thought that I was going to I should probably look both ways before I go flying out onto a busy road um, yeah, we'll get this down to field 10, and then that one is ready to roll. Then we should be able to get the combine down. I'm hoping we get the combine down there before we need to go and worry about emptying the other one. Although, that one's already on 42%, so maybe that won't be happening. Not sure. Right, well, anyway. I will... We can keep an eye on it. So... We've got our silage. It's busy fermenting at the moment, but there is the strong possibility. We haven't checked it yet. We don't know for certain, but there is the strong possibility that we are not going to be able to sell it at the sale point over there. There is the strong possibility that it doesn't accept loose silage over there and that we will, in fact, end up having to buy 
the BGA in order to sell our silage, which is a little bit unfortunate. Now, we're on 32,500 euros right now. If we do need to go down this road, it will mean that the money that we were hoping to spend on our new tractor, we won't be able to go and spend on a new tractor yet. We're going to need to save every penny that we can. I mean, yes, we've gone and bought a seed drill, but that's fine. So what we'll end up with is we'll have to wait for a growth season before we can sell, uh, before we plow up our grass. It would probably be sort of the best way to do this. Uh, if we take a quick look over here, there is the biogas plant. And if we take a look at that, it's 120,000. It's not actually all that bad. Uh, 120. I did genuinely think that it was going to be a lot more than that. I do like that with this version, you cannot buy up the town. You can't go and buy the town, which means, and also alongside the river, you can't go and um, get those trees and plow them up or anything like that. But the biogas plant right there... 120,000 euros, and we've got 32,000 at the moment. Now, with these harvest jobs, we're doing several. We've got, uh, well, we've got three of them on the go right now. We've got some excess wheat that is over in the, that's ready to take to Felsbrunn. We're going to have excess potatoes to take there, and there's going to be more wheat, and there's going to be barley to take as well, and... Oh, wait, is barley one of the prices? Barley, barley, barley. Let's have a look. Uh, barley is also Felsbrunn Grain Mill, although it's starting to come down with the wheat, unfortunately. But we will just keep it there. I mean, there's only a bit in here at the moment, but we'll, we'll keep it there. It won't take long to get to that. This one here is off to do the wheat right now. So uh, I, what am I looking for? I want to lower that one down a little bit there like that. Right. So we got this combine here. He's off to go and do the wheat right now, which means that we will hopefully get a, a decent bit of crop going in there. Now... Can I change anything over on here? I don't think I can. I'm just wondering if I could, like, fold up that bit that sticks out on the back. It doesn't look like it. So we get this one down over to field 10. Even though the barley combine right now is full. Yeah, that wasn't really supposed to happen there. <laughs> but, I mean, there were, there, there were no injuries, so... That's the important thing, so we'll just keep chugging onwards. I'm going to get this one to the field and started, and then we'll go and unload that barley over in the other field. And then we can go back, and we can also get the soybeans combine going, because that's only going here to field 20. And uh, that's another one that's going to be going to Felsbrunn. So we've got several crops that we'll be able to take to Felsbrunn quite a bit of money that we should be able to make from taking all of these to Felsbrunn and I mean I doubt that it's actually going to take us all the way to 120 but it is going to be pretty close like we are going to be a long way towards it by that point and even if we can sell silage over at the sale point I'm actually thinking it would be more beneficial to us if we were to not sell all of the silage over at the standard sell point, we get our 120,000. Even if we're able to go and get the... Uh, even if we're able to sell the silage over at the other sell point, we just sell enough so that we have 120 and we can buy the biogas plant. If we can buy the biogas plant, that means that then from that point on we can sell everything there and you get a lot more money for selling stuff at this biogas than you do anywhere else so i mean yeah we we've got then a choice we can either make our silage at our own farm or we can transport it over to the biogas plant and make it there in a clamp um or you know make it at the farm and then transport it after it's turned in silage and uh, do it that way it's, we have both options. Well, the other issue, of course, is what is the biogas plant like over there? Because there is always the possibility that the biogas plant here is one that we can't tip into with trailer. 
And if that's the case, that's the, yeah, that's, that's another slight problem for us, isn't it? Um, some of them you can tip straight into with a trailer, like the Estancia Lapacho one, but others you can't actually tip into them with a trailer. You have to have a, um, a, a, a what do you call thing? A, um, oh, a, a, a bucket. We, we, we have to have like a, a loader and a bucket. And, well, that's that's also not very good. Now, I mean, the, the issue with having a loader and a bucket, it, it's not like the end of the world. But even if you build a... I have actually tried this before. Although, I, don't, I haven't tried it in FS19. I tried it in FS17. Tipping with a bucket is apparently a different mechanic to tipping with a trailer. Because I built a ramp up and I couldn't tip out from a trailer. I could only tip out from a bucket. So it does like a, a different thing. And I'm not quite sure why. Now, what was I looking for in here? I wanted to go control H like that. And I want to go into the options. I want to take that up to 100%. And I want to turn off the weight during unload. Turn it off there. And then just press H here. This tool is reserved for contract work. Yes, I don't doubt it. Okay, well that tool can be away over there. I've then got this tool right here that can go and unload that tray, uh, that combine down there. Help a D has full grain tank. That's the potatoes. So we get this one here unloaded, and we'll also get the potatoes unloaded once this one's done. I might actually need to come back and move this one in a second. Let's just park that one there. Actually, no, I won't need to come back and move this one can do is we just follow that one to the end like that and I'll drive forward a little bit like that and it should be all right to just stay there so then I can go with this one and we go racing up across the field he's got an even smaller strip now but I'm still I don't know if no I don't think that we're gonna actually get all the rest of the crop into the trailers here I think we're going to have to go and empty out and then come back and get a little bit more I don't think there's enough room there for all of it right, it's it's gonna be close there's not gonna be very much left but we we are still gonna have to do another run okay so I got that combine over there that is currently whizzing around we've then got another job down here that we want to take which is field 20 uh, that harvesting job there is barley for the grain mill. We don't want to have two of the same crop going on at the same time. So we, I mean, they are to different locations. So in theory, we should be all right, but I don't want to do that. Uh, we'll go here, soybeans to the supermarket. So that is field 20. I'm going to borrow items for that one there like that. I can now move this one out of the way. The money is ticking down a bit faster now because of the number of hired helpers that we've got working in the fields. I'm absolutely fine with that. I, I don't mind that at all. And you're coming along quite nicely. You're nearly finished in here and you're not going to run out of seed. So we don't have to worry about that bit. Let's get you out. I'll ignore the other two, and we will go straight on with this one. So this has only got to go over to field 20, which is nice and close. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.